Bash is super powerful and if you can get that power then you will be it can help you to automate your stuff just like I automated Ubuntu installation and you can do that too but first what is bash so it is a command line interpreter helps you to interact with the computer from command line bash stands for born again shell born because it is an updated version of shell created in 1970s and bash was created in 1989 and it is called shell because it surrounds the linux kernel and hides the internal detail of linux which we can't handle it comes pre-installed in most of the linux distros to check that execute which dollar shell this is something called prompt where you can type command which will be then executed by the operating system bash also has status script which are stored in dot bash rc file in your home directory anything written here will be executed every time you start the shell this was only bash but it becomes more powerful with its scripts bash is also a programming or scripting language allows you to store all the commands in a file with dot sh extension or no extension and when the file is executed all commands inside it will be executed line by line so first open a file here i am using vim text editor you can use anyone you want followed by the file name the first line of the script will always start with this symbol both of this combining call as shebang and then path of the application then you can put commands like echo to print something to create a variable simply define it equals to followed by its values if you don't know what the variable is then variable is just a container where you can store the stuff and use it whenever you want to use that variable use dollar sign followed by the name of the variable to get input from the user like this use read and give any name to it anything that user will put will be stored in this variable you can also show a message by using dash p flag followed by the message to define conditions here we can use if statement condition in the sense when user enters this do this or this or this else this to use if statement simply write if open brackets condition then close brackets semicolon then and the code which need to be executed if the condition is true but what if the condition is false for that use else and the code which to be executed if the condition is false and to close if statement just type fi at the end and if you have multiple conditions use elif statement after if statement just like this and make sure that your elif statement is between if and else now just save the file using escape colon wq and enter before executing the file give it required permissions using change mode then just execute the file using dot slash name of the file next instead of taking user input we can do something like this where the input can be written while executing file only this is something called positional arguments to use positional arguments in bash script just use dollar sign followed by the number starting from 1 and here how it works you can also define multiple arguments and use it whenever you want next thing is switch case it is similar but better version of if else statement to use switch case write case followed by expression in then write the condition and after condition make sure to put closing parenthesis and the code to be executed if the condition is true after that put two times semicolon same way you can write multiple condition and at last put asterisk closing parenthesis and the code to be executed if none of these conditions are true this is also called default case after writing all of this close switch statement with psac at last now what's going on here so here this is an positional argument and then 
this code will be executed if arguments equal to this and if not then it will go to second case and if again not then it will go to third similar way others and if argument doesn't work with any of this then default case will be executed now just execute it and it works fine